Welcome to the Random Hockey Show. I'm your host, Danielle Fernandez. We are here in Vancouver, British Columbia. Vancouver, not only home of the Canucks, but also known as being a favorite away road city for both the media and the fans. From the mountains to the ocean, the seawall and Stanley Park, there are plenty of opportunity to kill those seemingly long moments before the puck drops. Coming up on today's show, we're going to hit the streets, chat with some fans, and then head over to Base Hockey, owned by former NHL great Cliff Ronning. Hopefully, he'll be able to improve my hockey skill, or lack thereof. Canadians are generally known for being kind-hearted, compassionate, and polite individuals, except when it comes to hockey. Hockey tends to bring out, how shall I say this, some pretty intense emotions. So I've decided to wander the streets and chat with them about the sport they love the most, which is, of course, hockey. There's only one catch. I've decided to wear a Boston Bruins Tim Thomas jersey. Boo. Oh yeah, this is going to be interesting. Here with Chris. Chris, you're a hockey fan? Yep. How come? Uh, fold it through my wife, she got me into it. So the woman got you into hockey. Now that's something you don't hear. No, I, she is an avid Canucks fan and uh, and she brought me into the fold of following the Canucks. So she brainwashed you? Yeah. We'll believe it. <laughs> so you say you're a hockey fan. Who's your favorite team, favorite player, how come? Um, obviously I'm a Vancouver Canucks fan. Born and raised in Vancouver. Um, I was seven years old when they went to the final in 94 and I remember every second of it. My favorite player would have to be Roberto Luongo. Um, just because he won Team Canada the gold in my hometown and almost won us the cup last year. I'd go with Burroughs because he slayed the Dragon last year yep. and he killed uh, the Chicago Blackhawks in the playoffs for series there. What do you think about my jersey? Uh, good team. Good, good, team? good team? That's pretty objective. Good for you. <laughs> uh, go home, Boston! Hey, we won the Stanley Cup! Those are my team. Okay, well, uh, you know I've been booed this whole yeah, time. Really? What do you think about the Canadians with their emotions about hockey? It's just uh, people are diehard hockey fans. Yeah. And people in Vancouver love um, hockey. I went to the Calgary game last week and I wore my Jerome McGinley jersey. And I got three guys wanting to fight me in the stands. Do you remember your first memory of hockey? Why, why you're, you're such a good Playing hockey when I was a kid, I met Joe Sackett. I'm from Burnaby. And I was, he used to play hockey at Kensington when he was a kid. I'd watch him when I was a kid because he's a couple years older. And then he got drafted, and I met Joe in the stands, I shook his hand, and ever since that, I've been a huge hockey fan. Do you remember the first moment when you knew hockey was going to be a big part of your life? Oh yeah, I remember the first time my dad came home and he's like, do you want to like play hockey? And how like we went out and bought, bought hockey equipment, and my mom almost like made us return it because it was so much money. You know, I've been really harassed wearing this jersey. It's an emotional time. Why is that? You can see uh, how, how big of an effect like hockey has on this on this city especially and the culture. You should have a Canuck jersey on. I know, but I just, I don't have one on hand. Well, you should have. You shouldn't be caught dead down here with that on. It's gonna get worse, you know. So when you see the opposition jersey, you get a little upset. Not that upset. Not on a pretty girl. <laughs> there you go. All right, okay. thanks for your time. Okay, bye now. Against all odds, I survived that street segment. I think it's probably a good idea if I take the jersey off before we head over to base hockey and chat with former Vancouver Canuck Cliff Ronning. We are here at base hockey in Burnaby, British Columbia. Base hockey founded by 19 year NHL veteran Cliff Ronning and his co-founder Ron Kunisaki. At base they're going to check out my shot, hopefully improve it a little bit and I'm going to learn what they do here. Looking forward to it. Cliff Ronning. How you doing, Danielle? Hey, thanks for having us. Welcome to base. This oh. has been uh, a lot of fun in the last two years for us, so I can tell you all about it. Okay, so base hockey, we're going to talk to you a lot about that. But right now, I have some questions to ask you. Are you all ready? Right. I'm ready. Okay. All right, so talk about the culture of hockey. Now, you did a lot in the NHL. You're still working with the sport of hockey now, post-playing. The culture yes. of hockey is such a big deal for Canadians. When was the first moment when you knew it was going to be such a big part of your life? Well, I remember in Pee Wee Hockey, uh, I was chosen at a tournament that uh, I was MVP of the tournament, and from then on, I kind of thought, hey, I love this game. Just the culture of Canada. It's, it's bred inside us, and um, I'm lucky to be a part of it. It does evoke such passion in, in Canadians. It seems to bring out all kinds of emotions. I mean, 
What are, what are your thoughts on that? Well, it's a fast-paced game. It's all about effort, how hard you work. Um, what's nice now is the female population in women's hockey is fabulous. I think that's something that uh, if anyone has kids, they have boys or girls that want to play hockey. I think just hockey in general, it's something I think Canadians are good at, so it's always fun to be a part of something that you're good at. So base hockey. Definitely your brainchild. Yep. Tell me a bit about the background and who you have working with well, you. Well, I think the biggest thing is um, Ron Kunisaki is someone that I used to use a hockey stick when I played in the NHL. It was from there, I was a very finicky player, uh, small, but I had to use everything to my advantage, right? So I needed a stick that was able to flex. Every time I bought a stick or got a stick, I cut it off. Now it's too stiff and I couldn't shoot as hard as I wanted to. And, and for me, I kind of put all that together, getting a great stick maker, uh, players like Ally Afraidy had the hardest shot in the world as a partner of mine. Uh, it goes on and on. We're teaching kids also how to shoot, so and adults, so that's kind of fun. And it's kind of evolved into a, a full circle. Um, we just don't do hockey sticks. We're actually teaching how to use the hockey stick also. So, so just to confirm, I'm actually going to have to get on the ice with skates and shoot a stick yes. and eventually hit the net. Proper technique, and you get good results. So that's what base is about. I'm just going to try to hit the net. <laughs> So Danielle, what we got here is we got all the different curves. Most companies just have four curves. Here I've got about 30 different curves. This is a Backstrom curve, pretty good player, plays for Washington. Decent, decent player. Yep. Now what I have to ask you, I'm just going to put this right here. I got to ask you, when you take a slap shot, where do you hold your bottom hand? Yes, when I take all those slap shots yeah. that I take all the time. Okay, so you probably have to hold the top up here is usually... <laughs> usually what typical hockey players do? Yeah. Okay, I'm marking this to see how strong you are and how much you're going to bend. Really should have got to the gym a few more times before this. Well, you'd be surprised. You're actually probably going to make this stick bend a little bit. Now you're looking kind of like a hockey player. All right. <laughs> so, Danielle, uh, I see you skate a lot. You play a lot. Yeah. So what we're going to do is this is just kind of the rink where they, you warm up a little bit. Okay. And then we take you to the, the high-speed cameras right. and find out exactly your technique issues, if there is any, or well, maybe your perfect... Well, obviously, there isn't going to be. I so, shoot like a Here, you just want to take a shot. Let's see if you can hit the net. That's pretty good. We raised the puck. So now we're going to go out to the other side. So follow me. So this is what I like to start off teaching on the snapshot. You bring the stick back. You push down on the toe, right? And as you come through, front foot forward, and then fire the puck. Oh, okay? sure. That looks easy. So, How hard can it be, right? He's going to record this one, so this oh. one's going to be live. Okay. The pressure's on, right? There's yep. 18,000 people. Is this a Stanley Cup final? Well, I don't like talking about Game 7, but you got a breakaway now. Now we need you to score. Okay, that wasn't bad. So we're going to watch you on video here. Come and check this out. All right, let's. First thing we look for, are you looking at the target? What you're doing, your chin's looking at the target, your elbow's in pretty good alignment with your stick. So as you strike the puck, but you can really see your upper body's doing a good job, but the lower body, from what I see, you're not transforming that much energy yeah, from my this legs. leg onto this leg. That's why I want to go a little more front foot forward. Looks a little spindly there. All in all, I thought that was a pretty good shot. Your Me first too, I'm pretty happy with it. So now how fast was my shot? It was about Eight miles an hour. And how fast was Ally of Rady shot? 108. So 100 is the difference? I think that's reasonable. It's not bad. So what I'm hearing is in like three weeks, I'll be able to compete with Ally of Rady. Well, I'm hoping in three weeks, we'll be able to get up to over 20 miles an hour. I see we got to start slow, okay? Fair enough. But down the road, it can get there. Like I said, the biggest thing is you're happy. You're enjoying yourself playing hockey. Greatest foot. game on earth. It is the greatest game on earth. Well, I had a great time at base hockey today, and I honestly believe that the women's national team isn't too far off. What do you think? Well, if you're going to play, I think you might want to take tennis. Oh, all right. Well, fair enough. I still had a great time. It was a pleasure meeting you. Yes, thank you. Send all your friends. I will. Let's go shoot some pucks. All right, let's go. Okay, so try to go shoot high now. Okay. Good. That was a good shot. That wraps up the Vancouver show. It truly is a beautiful city, and the fans definitely love their hockey. Fortunately for me, Cliff Ronning went easy on me today, I think. Join us next time when we hit the road and end up in the nation's capital of Ottawa for the National Hockey League's All-Star Game. Thanks for watching the Random Hockey Show. I'm your host, Danielle Fernandez. <laughs>